Hey guys, welcome back. Now more and more these days, we talk about big data and how it's having a profound effect on businesses as well as how we communicate to our customers. Well, I want to give you guys some important points of what to look for in your marketing data when you launch a campaign and I also want to give you five data points that you should start looking for in your customer information and you should start tracking. But further to this, I'll actually give you guys a lot of my own experiences with customers I've worked with on how they used different data and different information to help their business improve revenue as well as customer interaction and satisfaction. Now, before we go to that part, I do want to talk first about data for small and medium enterprises as well as CEOs, what they find as the most pivotal and most important part for the use of strategy and business decisions. So return on investment. So we're going to start with one of the most important ones, which is your return on investment, your ROI. If you're a small business owner or a CEO, return on investment can help you make various decisions about your marketing campaigns as well as the overall strategy. It can help you with testing and developing marketing strategies, seeing which ones are more cost effective, which ones are less cost effective and where to make your investment in terms of a business. But most importantly, they'll tell you whether your strategy is working. A marketing strategy or campaign should not just pay for itself, but should exceed in its return in order to justify itself. And if you want a little bit more information, I mean, always go back to my short section on return on investment and feel free to go through the planning phases as well as, of course, how to calculate it, which is really, really important for all businesses. Next, I want to talk about acquisition costs. This is really, really important for businesses. This is essentially your total cost of acquiring new customers over the number of new customers. That's the equation for it over there. And it's a really, really important analytical tool. Basically, it tells you out of all your costs put together, including things like wages, your marketing, or you can make it even just simplify and just do the campaign, how much of that cost has translated into getting you new customers, not repeat customers, but new customers. And it's really useful for various, various reasons. One of the most common ways it's actually used is with lifetime value of a customer, which I'll get into just in a little bit. Essentially, it can help you find out whether you're having a positive growth or whether you're declining. And as you can see, if you have a three to one ratio for acquisition costs to lifetime value of a customer, you're doing positive, you're doing well, and you wanna keep it above that level. If you're having a one to one, you're probably declining and it's going to be unsustainable the amount of customers you're getting to the amount of costs you're having to get those customers. Which brings me actually to the third data point, which is your lifetime value of a customer, LTV as it's known as. Now this one's really, really important as it shows you the value of your customer and is calculated as average order value multiplied by the number of repeat sales num multiplied by the average retention time. Now, this is a very simple calculation, of course. There's a lot more complex ones that we can go through, and I will actually include a really, really excellent article on KISS metrics, which they give you an infographic and a case study of how they worked out the lifetime value of Starbucks using three different equation methods. To give you the basic view of it, Lifetime value of a customer is essentially the dollar amount that will be spent by the customer at your business for the duration of his repeat sales and his lifetime at your business. And this can be a really, really important tool as it allows you to not only forecast, but also work out the expected revenue per new customer over the course of their lifetime. So that's some of the important tools that I find uh, small businesses as well as CEOs really look to in order to see whether their marketing strategy is working, what they need to adapt and improve, and how to make correct data and analytical business decisions. Now, as I mentioned in the next section, I wanna give you guys five different data points that you can work with, as well as examples with each one, so that when you gather those data points, you have an idea of how you can improve your business and how you can improve your marketing strategy overall. So I'll see you there.